Hi and welcome to City Happenings, I'm Mayor David Black. The high school marching band season has ended and you'll hear one of our local high school band directors talk about a successful year. Terra Heights Elementary celebrates its 50th anniversary this year, we'll hear more. And the annual holiday festival, Winter Wonderland, is just days away. The event is sponsored by the Papillion Community Foundation and we'll hear from the director. It's all coming up on City Happenings for the week of November 15th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The Papillion La Vista South Marching Band stepped out long and loud at the Lincoln High School Marching Invitational, being named Grand Champions. It was a great season for us, you know, and the, the dedication of the students and, and what we were able to accomplish. The whole process actually starts, you know, back in March when we start selecting music for the, for the upcoming season. Uh, usually the students have the music in their hands in, in May, and, and so there's a lot of work over the summer that they do on the music. And, and then, of course, once band camp hits, then it's, uh, you know, all the all the marching and everything involved with that and learning the drill and, and it, it takes hours and hours of, of time with the dedication of the students, you know, willing to put that, that time into it to try to make the show work. And, and it's nice to see, you know, when, it, when, it, when we do have success, like it's nice to, to you know, for the, for the kids to be rewarded for all of their effort and hard work. There were a lot of things that, you know, with the logistics for putting this show on the field, you know, just, just having it Having the, the students, you know, <laughs> start and stop together is a great thing. When you think of all the all the logistics, all the equipment, all the props, and all the things that we have to to have going on to, to make the show actually click. And we had some had some things happen that day. You know, uh, some equipment that was left behind, and some things we had to deal with uh, that I think in in one way really focused the students on it. They realized that okay, we've, we've we had some adversity. Now we're ready to perform. We're going to go out and we're just going to nail this thing. When we finished the Lincoln High performance, and it was an immediate. We weren't even finished with the last note and people were up out of their seats and, and, and giving the students a standing ovation and those types of things. You know, that's that really is, to me, worth more than the, than the points. A student used to call it uh, feeling the magic. You know, she'd come off and she'd say, you know, and she'd say, Mr. Kellett, I, I, you know, I didn't feel the magic. Or Mr. Kellett, I, I, I really felt the magic that time. And, and so, you know, the students also put it in those terms and I think they felt like they hit a, a real good performance down there. Terra Heights Elementary observes its 50th year. For current staff and students, it truly is a labor of love. We talked to the staff and, and asked them of past employees um, that they knew were still in the area and addresses. That was the other thing. We knew of lots of people, but to find their addresses and be able to get a hold of them and, and invite them, um, that was, it was an involved process, but we were all just so excited um, to have it take place. And the children did a wonderful job of depicting what went on during those different decades of the history of Terra. When I look at our facility, it's been very well maintained. It's hard to believe that this facility is 50 years old. Um, but it's exciting to think in, when you go back in education and look at um, where we started as a community and how um, they thought, well, well, we'll divide the school in between the north and the south, and that's going to probably be it, you know. <laughs> and then now look at where we are, 14 elementary schools, two high schools, two middle schools, and we're still growing. And um, that's exciting part of education, um, is that constant learning and always changing and growing. Don't forget about Winter Wonderland. The Papillion Community Foundation's annual event is coming up fast. Well, Winter Wonderland is one of one of the best events that we have. It's uh, a true community builder, and I'm really excited for the first year to do it. We have a fantastic relationship with the city, so it's understandable that people would, would see the overlap between the city and the foundation. Um, the foundation puts on this event in, in cooperation with the city to really engage the community and build a feeling of family and tradition here in Papillion. Uh, probably brings out a couple thousand people, that's certainly our hope, and it's, a, it's an event for the entire family. Carriage rides, hot cocoa, visits with Santa, um, at six o'clock the mayor lights the lights, and I think it will, I think it will be a lot of fun. There's, there's no cost to participants, and while it's not a fundraiser for us, I think that it highlights what we're trying to do in our mission statement, which is build a sense of community. We couldn't do that without the partnerships that we have with the city and with, with local businesses. We're really excited about all the downtown businesses that are willing to stay open for this event and we think that it promotes um, getting people in our downtown and, and showing them you know, that there's a lot of opportunities here to shop and do 
have those family traditions that we all love. I think a lot of people come home for Thanksgiving and want to come to this event. I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for and I thank you for making Papillion a great place to live. And our city council meetings are held the first and third Tuesday of each month. If you can't make it to the council meetings, you can watch the replays right here on Papio Vision Channel 18. The first airing of each new meeting is on the following Thursday. Papio Vision shows the meetings on Thursdays at 4 and 7 p.m., Fridays at 9 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays at 1 and 7 p.m., and Mondays at 4 and 7 p.m. Now, for more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the mayor's hotline at 827-1111. Thanks for watching.